Greetings and salutations, my lovely little bitelings. My name is Wiggy, and today we have yet another piece of Bless Online news. Now, if you aren't aware, we've been posting quite a lot of a Bless information as it's, you know, the new buzzing MRPG. Granted, it's had many, many negative things happen to it over the years as this game has been on an up and down hill since it was announced. There has been a stream of positive news going about Bless Online recently and the good news just keeps on coming. We got its release, we got new information, and even today we've got more information on what has been changed for the Steam English release. Let's talk about some of the changes that have taken place on the Steam version as opposed to the Korean version or the Japanese version. And here it is. NeoWiz has spent a lot of time revamping the combat system as anybody that's been staying and keeping up to date with what's been going on with Bless Online should know by now that Bless has had a lot of issues with combat. What they did say is that they have re-examined almost every single class skill and restructured everything about it. From a previous news video, they mentioned that they wanted more rhythmic combat and they have done just that. Players will be able to choose two out of six skills for stance skills, as well as four general skills that will mesh with their class. Using these skills in combos during combat will of course lead to better effects and allow the combat to move seamlessly and smoothly while playing it, so you won't have to feel any clunky kind of combat going on here. The combat is said to have become more difficult due to this dynamic combo system, so depending on how good the player actually is at properly succeeding and using these combinations in tandem with one another will definitely make you better than someone who doesn't use their combos or skills as efficiently. The last little bit of information regarding the combat is party buffs. They believe that adding party buffs to the game would be a good way of making people join up and team up. I mean, considering how many MWRPGs encourage solo play, this is good in my opinion as giving players more of an incentive to play together can never be bad. Depending on the number of members, classes, and races of the party members you have in the party, the party leader can choose one of the specific combat effects from the specific lifestyle. So some of them may increase your damage, some of them may increase your defense, HP, damage to monsters, damage in PvP. So it all really depends on who you have in your team at the time. Moving on to what is probably the most important thing and the most frequently asked thing about Bless Online is the monetization. Now, as I mentioned prior, NeoWiz has on many occasions stated that they do not want pay to win, any elements of pay to win whatsoever. And well, a lot of MMO companies have said that in the past, so couldn't really believe them. But they are still sticking to the fact that they do not want this game to be pay to win and they want it to be user friendly. So there's two item shops in the game currently. There is a content token shop and then there is a Lumina shop. Let's first talk about the token shop. It is designed to allow players to spend tokens that are only found by playing the game. You cannot purchase this currency. And you can use these tokens to buy items that can, say for instance, make you gather faster, etc., etc. It is not pay to win at all. It's more like play to win, which is how it should be in my opinion. Now the Lumenia shop is where you will be able to spend real currency to buy cosmetics. So makeover scrolls, mount apparels, your own apparels, anything that affects what you look like. Which is how I feel item malls should be. You should only be able to buy cosmetics in those kinds of things. So I'm definitely liking the fact that they have two different kinds of ways of spending currency. One is through in-game currency, one is through real currency. Another cool thing about these two different systems is that you will be able to convert your in-game currency which is the content tokens into Lumena currency. So you will be able to convert those tokens into real money currency where you can buy cosmetics. So if you don't have any money to spend on the game, but want to be able to change what you look like, or want to be able to buy that really nice outfit, you can just by playing the game which yet again is just awesome to hear. Next on the list is something that is completely new to the Steam release. 
and that is a tutorial zone. Now, if you've played Bless Online, whether it's the Russian incarnation, the Korean incarnation, or the Japanese incarnation, you would know that there is no tutorial zone. Each race starts off in their own zone, yes, and you could technically say that is a tutorial, but it really isn't. This is a dedicated tutorial zone that you will be able to visit at any time where you can practice your skills, your rotations, anything to do with combat or just hang out. But it is unique to the Steam release and I do want to kind of travel around and explore it a bit as the region looks pretty amazing. Not to mention with the new skill system, the dynamic and rhythmic combat system that they placed into Bless Online, I would like a moment to try out my skills on the different classes and see which ones I like and having a tutorial zone seems like a perfect place to try that out. Another thing that's being touched on on the Steam release is the content pacing. Now, there were a lot of people that didn't really know where to start in Bless Online. They were kind of like dropped into the area. The world was massive. Anywhere you wanted to go, you could go and you'd probably end up getting murdered by a horde of monsters. But still, you could go anywhere you wanted to. To address this kind of feeling of not knowing where to go, they've approved the pacing, allowing new players or older players to experience the content with more of a direction. So you're not just dropped into the middle of a giant city without any idea of where you have to go. Neowiz stated that the combat was relatively easy and repetitive, and a lot of players they found were getting bored of it quite fast. And they tried to solve this problem. They have updated the monsters found within a Bless Online and given them special skills and other kinds of bonuses to these monsters to make them harder, to make them do different things. So instead of just fighting a monster that just melees you repeatedly until you end up killing said monster, they will be able to use skills at random times, whether that's a stun or a bleed effect. They are adding special skills to different types of monsters, so you won't always have the same kind of encounter with every creature you fight. I do look forward to seeing how that actually plays in game. I can't wait to get my hands on the Steam release for Bless Online, see what these differences are like, as I didn't manage to make it to 42 on my character on the Korean version for Bless Online, and I'd love to see how the Steam version is different, having played it that far. Now, on to my opinions of the game. Now, I feel like NeoWiz is definitely doing what they said that they wanted to do. It's not just a bunch of lies. They do seem to be taking what players are saying into consideration. They do seem to be taking what people want and placing that into the game. They have improved the combat. They've changed the combat. They've improved the monsters. They've improved pacing. They're not making the game pay to win. They're really hitting on every little subject that players were asking for and fixing it. I cannot say how the game will end up once it is eventually released on Steam in May, but I can say that I am surprised and happy about all the news that I'm hearing for Bless Online. I have high hopes for this game and I definitely hope it is not crushed once I finally get to try it out on Steam. With that, I would like to ask you guys a question. What do you think about all the new information regarding Bless Online? Are you excited for all the new things they've added? Are you excited for the new skill system? Either way, I'd love to hear what your opinions are on Bless Online as it's coming out quite soon. With that all being said, thank you guys very much for watching this video and good day, night, or afternoon, wherever it is where you are, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. So don't forget to check it out. You're not this bad.